Here's a quick one. The formula for the sum of the first n positive integers. So we have 1 plus 2 all the way up through n is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. First time you see this, looks a little odd. On this side, we have a sum of integers. On this side, I have a fraction. So we'll briefly explain that, and then we'll put a picture to it. Now, the way we usually show this, we have Gauss's trick. So what we would do is take 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way up through n. We reverse the order of the sum. Then we add these two terms column-wise. So each column is going to add up to n plus 1. We have n columns, so we'll get n times n plus 1. Since we have two of these, we divide by 2. We could also show it using induction. Now, for here, I want to focus on the 1 half. So first, let's explain why we always get an integer out of this. Now, two possibilities for n. If n is an even number, then 2 divides into it. We have an integer times n plus 1, which is another integer. So that checks out. If n is odd, then n plus 1 is even, so 2 divides into it. We have an integer times n, which is another integer, and that checks out also. Another way to reconcile that 1 half is to put a picture to everything. So I'm going to draw my sum in the following way. I'm going to stack squares as follows. Okay, the side length for each square is going to be equal to 1. So if we take the area of this region, what do we get? Well, we have a 1 here. I have two squares here to give me a 2. We have three squares to give me a 3, and so on, till we get a stack with n squares, which gives us area n. So the area of this region is going to be 1 plus 2 plus 3, all the way up through n. So that's the sum that we're interested in. Now, another way to look at this, I could put in this diagonal here to make this into one big triangle with a lot of little triangles. What's the area of the big triangle? Well, the side lengths are going to be equal to n, so we're going to have 1 half n times n, or 1 half n squared. For the areas of all of our little triangles, well, how many little triangles do we have? We have one in each column, so that's going to mean we have n of these. What's the area of each little triangle? 1 half base times height. Since these are just half squares, we're going to have 1 half times 1 times 1, and then we have n of them. So our contribution from the little triangles is n over 2. If we add these together, I have a half n squared plus a half n. Then when we factor out the n, I'm left with a 1 half n times n plus 1. And that verifies our original formula.